Hello friends, I am Dr. Vishweshwaran, currently working as a senior consultant, interventional pulmonology and sleep medicine specialist at Ashoda Hospitals, Somajiguda in Hyderabad. These interstitial lung disease are a group of disorders of the lung where the lung goes for shrinkage of the capacity which leads to persistent breathlessness especially on exertion or walking and persistent dry cough and sometimes it is associated with easy fatigability, loss of weight and loss of appetite. This interstitial lung disease is caused by a variety of reasons and one primary reason, especially in a city like Hyderabad, is exposure to the pigeon dust and the feathers. These pigeon dust and the feathers contains a particular sort of a protein which is, which when inhaled is injurious to your lungs. And slowly these proteins causes the shrinkage of the lung capacity leading to breathlessness and persistent cough. This sort of an interstitial lung disease is what we refer to as a hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Apart from this hypersensitivity pneumonitis, the interstitial lung disease can also be caused by variety of reasons like smoking, exposure to certain pollutions or sometimes at a workplace pollutants and sometimes it can be caused by certain disorders which affect the immune system of the body which we refer to as an autoimmune condition like rheumatoid arthritis or jaw grins or systemic sclerosis and so on. So whenever you are having a persistent breathlessness on exertion associated with a dry cough, with an easy fatigability or unexplained loss of weight or loss of appetite or you have joint pains along with these symptoms, do consult your pulmonologist and when you go to, with a symptom of suggestive of an interstitial lung disease, your pulmonologist may ask you to undergo a HRCT scan of the chest. In addition to this, to assess for the functional capacity of the lung, he may order a pulmonary function test and these tests help us to identify what sort of an interstitial lung disease you are dealing with. Rarely, few of these interstitial lung disease may also require certain advanced procedures like a bronchoscopy and we take biopsies from the lung to characterize what sort of interstitial lung disease you are suffering. Unlike the past, where many of these patients of interstitial lung disease were not treated adequately, right now we have a lot of medications which can bring about a significant improvement in your quality of life and survival and symptoms. These include medications like antifibrotics, immunomodulators and in certain cases steroids, even inhaled medications, vaccinations and rehabilitation. However, if your interstitial lung disease has progressed to a significant extent where your oxygen starts falling, your doctor may ask you to take the oxygen supplementation. But unlike the past, now we have a lot of improvements, advancements in the field of in pulmonary medicine. So many of these patients who are oxygen dependent with interstitial lung disease can also have a second lease of life with what we refer to as a lung transplantation. These lung transplantations can make a patient who is dependent on oxygen for rest of his life become free from oxygen, having a significant improvement in his quality of life as well as survival. At our center, we routinely perform these lung transplantation and many of these patients who have got an interstitial lung disease and are on oxygen dependent have been successfully transplanted with the new lungs and now they are leading a normal life without the need of an oxygen therapy. So if you have any of these symptoms of unexplained breathlessness, persistent cough, easy fatigability or loss of weight or a loss of appetite or if you are already a diagnosed patient of an interstitial lung disease requiring oxygen, do consult us and we can help you with effective treatment and management. Thank you for the patience.